Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. So in this video, I wanna show you how I got the Toby Eye Tracker working with Farm Simulator 25. I tried to just use it straight out the box in that I enabled the face and eye tracking or the head and eye tracking in the game, but it didn't seem to do anything. So I looked online and it seems like that the Toby Eye Tracker hasn't been fully supported in this game as of yet. So I thought, ooh, why don't I try what I used in the last game? And never guess what? It works exactly the same. So that is using the OpenTrack software. So you can basically download this software you can see on, on the the screen right now which is called open track i'll leave a link in the description i'm actually using the same profile that i used for the last game and it works absolutely fine you can see that my input is the toby eye tracker the output i'm using is free track 2.0 enhanced but you can basically play play around with that see which one you like the most I've used the filter a seller but again you can basically play around with this see what you like the most I would recommend that you go into options and you choose a button bind a button that will enable you to center your view because when you use any kind of head tracking over time the view will start to get uncentered. other than that Basically, if you go into the the mapping here, and I, for the yaw, have this rather s steep curve. You can pause the video and see the exact v values that I'm highlighting there. But this is how I was able to get it so that you can, when you're in a tractor, very easily look behind you. Because in this game, you have to do that rather a lot when you are hitching up things. The pitch, the roll, X, Y, Z, I believe is all set to default, but you can obviously pause the video if you wanna see what that is exactly. And I find by using these settings that it seems to work really well in the game. So before you start the game, you need to start open track and you need to make sure that, that the the profile that you have created has been loaded and then if you click on the start button and then you can like move your head and see that the pink octopus is also moving around and then it's working then when you're in the game as you can see when I'm in a vehicle it actually works and I move my head and it moves my head in the game. So I find this works really well and it enables me to have a more realistic driving experience. The only thing that is a little bit of a, a shame is that my steering wheel d doesn't have any force feedback, but hey ho, that will be another video. But yeah, and then like I said earlier, one of the things that I find important is the fact that I can quite easily look behind me. You can see, I can look behind me, I look down, and then I can easily see where my hitch is, and I can reverse up to it like so, like a professional. There you go, see? So yeah, so I find this works really well. The basic thing is it works and you can play around with the settings yourself and see which ones you prefer. The only other thing that I'll say is that it's important that you go into the menu. So let me uh, save my game and quit. And I'll show you in the menu because for some reason it's only in the main menu that this works but you need to make sure in the main menu 
under options, funnily enough, that your head and eye tracking is on. Um, there is also a sensitivity when you're in the controls. <clears throat> if you go to the settings here at the bottom, you see it says switch device, press X. So if I do that and I get to, for some reason it's under the mouse, you see it also has this head eye tracking sensitivity. You can also have a play around with changing that and see if that helps. So there you go. This is how you can actually get the Toby Eye Tracker working in Farm Sim 25 and working well. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one.